important news let's go in this one because this one's a very, been a bit of an annoying situation to deal with as a Man United fan as most of you guys are aware we have Paul Pogba playing for us right a very talented supremely talented actually supremely gifted footballer um, obviously a French um, World Cup winner you know numerous titles and you know European Cups and medals and stuff won at Juventus and of course Europa League medal of course um, at his time at United as well and somebody who kind of has I guess for the most part flattered to deceive at United right he's never really kind of reached the heights that we've all kind of hoped and he probably for the most part isn't really the player everyone probably thought in their heads when he finally did come at United I think we all kind of assumed he was Yaya Torre incarnated Steven Gerrard-esque in his ability to drag a team from the bottom way to the top and he just isn't that guy in it and um, for, for for better or worse he's not that guy um so he's had a bit of a tumultuous time at United and it feels like it's all coming to a head now because recently Mino, My Mino Raiola he's um illustrious super agent um uh, who is somewhat effectively you know re re referred to as a bit of a lead and a bit of, of a virus and someone that Alice Ferguson didn't really have a lot of time for but an agent who seems to be really popular with you know a lot of high caliber the young players because for as much as he must for as much as he annoys the fan base myself included with these ill-timed comments um because I don't think that the comments definitely don't come out of nowhere I think for sure he is you know echoing the thoughts of his of his um clients but of his whatever it is but for the most part you can definitely see if you're a young player and you want to have somebody fighting your corner wanting to get as many coins as they can out of the club you're signing for making sure that the terms in your contract are beneficial making sure that the structure in place is going to make you know allow you to have the best platform for you to showcase your skills Mino Rallo is a guy for you but if you're the actual club um who's having to deal with him I can understand why you'd hate his guts because you know he always seems to have an ability to wrangle the fan base with these really snappy comments just when the club are you know facing a really crunch game or a period in their history where they're sort of maybe you know suffering in a bit of bad form and usually he leaves these comments for the international break that's when Mino Rallo tends to do his most of his damage or even Paul Pogba he'll go away for France and you'll start talking with his own media channels there in his native language feeling comfortable and you would literally just you know open up about his experience and some of it's honest but you know if you're a Man United fan I can understand why um, some segments of United fans base would not be happy to hear a player that plays for your club basically saying anything negative about the club it's just not acceptable and we just don't accept it even though we know they're humans and they're players and they probably don't love the club as much as us we just can't accept when it does happen so when Mignorello comes out and says the following stuff as he said just now I get up here on the screen he said the first thing they kind of popped up with was this comment here I can say that it's over for Paul Pogba at MUFC um, and this is a criteria regarding a comment uh, via Tutor Sport that um, Fabrizio Romano basically espouses on and this comes off the back of him performing you know pretty well in the second half against West Ham and scoring an absolute worldie of a goal from about 30 yards out side foot you know into the side netting bending it outside the post inside it's just a fantastic goal um, and he essentially Essentially, you know, kicked us on to eventually turn that game around 3 1 with obviously the help of Bruno Fernandes. So, for some United fans, it's just a final straw, right? That brought the camels back. He's kind of done this quite often. His agent has come out and said very disparaging stuff about the club, some of which the fan base has agreed with. But again, you just don't want to hear it from your players' agents. Um, you know, you just don't. You just say what it is. And a lot of it, I think, has to do with the way that Pogba just do, does stuff. I don't think he's he's disrespectful I think if anything considering the level of players he's played with over the years considering the level of managers he's had the structure of the lack of structure in our club overall um you know us maybe basically not achieving the success that we did under Sir Vegas in any meaningful way since his retirement and just the general craziness and circus that surrounds Man United he's done pretty well all things considered we haven't really had any account of him doing a granite Zacker and you know throwing his armband on the floor or dropping on the pitch and stuff for the most part if he just if he plays poorly he plays poorly but i'd never really seen anything that would lead me to believe that he has an attitude problem if anything he has the poor timing of just not knowing when to like shut up and let his performances do the job and when to maybe speak in a very clear and direct way to get his message across and not bring it up again because i think if you were just made if you were just left it at the comment that he did when he was with i think in china doing a that's commercial or something and he said the first thing clearly hey i want to move i want to change maybe a new challenge 
and just left it at that i think that would have been perfectly fine every fan was obviously still upset about it but if your player if a player wants to leave united they want to leave united it's no big deal you don't hold players against their will um you let him go and you start making plans to replace him with other players that maybe fit what we're trying to do for the future no harm done but i think it's a constant speaking out to the press via his agent and then of course the occasional comments Pogba makes when he goes to international break that have just added to all this hate that he's been getting on social it's been really interesting to see the amount of vitriol that comes the way of Paul Pogba from it feels like the majority of the fan base whenever I've said anything defending him especially even on forums I get absolutely destroyed right people just don't want to hear it so there's a one narrative about Paul Pogba that everyone seems to agree with but then when it comes to the ownership when it comes to the manager when it comes to our lack of sporting director director of football there's no unity we don't have the same amount of vitriol and venom towards our owners who are basically bled us dry yeah right we're drawing dividends from the club um not allowing our managers to spend in a very um strategic and you know um way that would kind of point towards us trying to become the best club in the world again um the hiring of us i i guess pretty subpar managers or managers that don't really have any relation to each other right we had a catalog of managers post Alex Ferguson none of which have any you know they don't have any similarities in their style of play in the profile play that they want so there's obviously no direction in terms of where we're trying to go as a club our failure to appoint a director of football and sporting director to kind of uh, map out what that kind of track record is going to be or what that journey is going to look like um, but we don't seem to have that same amount of vitriol. And I wonder what it is. Is it because the system of the club is just too big to kind of feel like you can make an impact on? It's easy to maybe point the finger at managers and players, right? Because they're individuals in that regard. Or is it just because Paul Popper seems to just get under the bonnet of much more people that support United or attached to United than any other person at the club does? Which is really bizarre considering that he's our, on paper, one of our, if not, the most talented player we have at the club right you look at people like a phil jones for instance who've recently signed a new contract he's supposedly back from injury hasn't hasn't got a sniff the whole season is happy to collect his wages and not really kick off much of a fuss and no one's really making any noise about him basically collecting his wages and not doing anything right not playing football right and not actually performing to a level that he's meant to be performing at but maybe again maybe it's mostly because of what he doesn't do he doesn't come out and make noise in the press he's not trying to angle for a move ahead of a big game which would probably want to matter if it was Phil Jones because no one really cared because he wasn't going to play anyway but I don't know maybe it's just the way he does stuff if you're Paul Popper because if if I was a because I just look at it from my point of view being a fan of the guy and being a fan of the club and just knowing that we've never really had a player of his level post Fergie for a while everyone's kind of been pretty substandard and again we're not like Liverpool we don't have a stellar manager which you can basically trust to like okay let him let him you know let Cartino go and Klopp is good enough to basically turn Oxlade Chamberlain into Cartino if he stays fit right he's a good enough coach to basically get the best out of proper not average but i say less talented players than a player like him but we don't have that sort of manager at our club we have a manager who quite clearly you know even though i'm not his also Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's you know biggest fan Ole Gunnar Solskjaer quite clearly needs players to be a success at United he needs signings right if he has signings he's shown us so far that he can get the best out of them you know like it or not his signings track record so far has been pretty decent um whether or not he has the you know final say so whatever maybe i don't care but under his stewardship the transfers have been fairly solid they've been performing to the level that need maybe to exception of only daniel james who again i can't really be blamed on only that regard because you know he was never really that great to begin with but still he's shown that if he gets the players he needs he can perform well fair enough but it doesn't look like he's going to get that transfer budget at united right we needed about five to six players in the summer we didn't get those five to six players um we got you know we got players that he probably didn't need at the time um so i'm not really sure how, why people are so confident and so okay with Paul believing when we have a board that are unwilling to give managers the funds to strengthen a team when we're in the champions league because they're just right off the back of that money and then we have a manager who doesn't necessarily know how to get the best out of players that are maybe a less of ability than a Paul Pogba because Paul Pogba when he was playing with Andes Pereira and stuff like you couldn't get a song on the dance out of those guys it was very inconsistent so I don't know man I don't know but anyway it continues um the comments got even worse I guess uh da -da -da -da. So this says here, another quote says, um, Manchester United Paul Pogba never found an agreement on a long-term contract extension after his current contract was extended by a year um, to a 2022 
due to a clause triggered by Emirates and Manchester United, of course. So we kind of, maybe we sort of backed ourselves into a corner a little bit, right? We didn't obviously want to let him go in the pandemic year for cheap, but then we also didn't, we also couldn't command the valuation that we basically wanted for him either because in the, in the pandemic year, right? So clubs that would be able to sign him can't because they don't have the funds because they haven't got the gates and the money coming in. So that was obviously a big reason behind him still being a United in the first place. So if anything... He's kind of unlucky in that regard, Paul Popper. He's a bit unlucky. Like if he was any, if this was any other time, he probably would have got his chance to go to another club and kick on because he basically needs this move probably more than we do too. Paul Popper's twenty seven years old and he still divides opinion, right? Regardless if I think he's a good player or not, the fan base are split. They don't they don't really convince of his level of performance. And then you see players like a Jack Grealish, for instance, playing for Aston Villa and essentially dragging them, you know, kicking and screaming over the finishing line, right? Making sure they survive in the you know, um, in the Premier League. And then of course kicking on this year, you have players like Bruno Fernandes, of course, coming in from a United and putting up stupid numbers, even if he is stat pattern to some extent, the numbers he's putting up are just insane in terms of his goal contributions and just his impact into the team overall and just the vibe that he kind of exudes it's just you know all encompassing but i've long believed and i think it's been proven here that they don't actually even get on i don't think so paul Pogba and bruno fernandez they get on to a certain extent but i definitely think if you're paul Pogba, there's going to be a hint of jealousy about the way bruno has been embraced by the fan base and also accommodated by the club because he's bruno fernandez has got freedom uh to exp of expression at a level that Pogba never got at united especially playing with better players bruno is essentially allowed to do whatever he wants on the pitch he essentially got a free role he presses at the front you know really really well but for the most part he doesn't have to track back as bad he doesn't have to track back as deeply as um, Paul Bobber does and he's essentially allowed to basically play sometimes even further forward average position than anti material so I can understand why that is and I think it's been proven here with a couple of the quotes if it continue going up uh, Mina Rala said Paul Pop is unhappy. He's no longer able to express himself as he would like and as expected of him, which is understandable again, considering he's mostly playing in a deep lining double pivot position, which has never been his best position. Some would argue, well, it is his best position. I still think his best position is playing further up a pitch in a number eight or a number 10 position. He's basically shown that his numbers have proved that. But if you've got Bruno Fernandes playing there, it's very hard to accommodate two of those types of players, especially underneath Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who probably doesn't have the best range of formation and tactics or comment those kind of plays he has a couple of systems that he chooses to play right the five at the back the diamond sometimes obviously the three um the two play make the two sorry double pivots the number 10 and the four and the three forward to obviously come and tuck in if need be into the midfield but he doesn't have the tactical variate the variety to allow him to be able to play let's say four center midfielders in the entire midfield he can't necessarily do that he needs to have some specialists able to do that kind of job so that's why it probably doesn't work in that regard he said it continues um Mina says um, he Pogba has a contract with Manchester United that will expire in a year and a half and in the summer 2022 but I think his best solution for the parties to sell him in the next market so of course they're pushing with this you know in the January transfer window which makes complete sense he said Man United have long wanted to get rid of Paul Pogba so the feeling is mutual that I'm really not too sure about because I think if they did want to sell him they could have I think if anything the club have essentially backed themselves into a corner because we were kind of um, routinely sort of uh, mocked in the press about how poorly we dealt with transfers and selling of players and buying of players the club have sort of made it their mission it feels like to not get taken from mugs in terms of selling players again if it's in their control they, they're going to make sure they get the best value so we're not so basically the people who are in charge Ed Woodward and co don't look like Muppets so essentially players like Pogba are suffering because of our inability to buy and sell properly because now we're sort of like holding on to the idea that we're going to get a hundred million you know dollars for him which probably a hundred million pounds for him which probably we're not ever going to get i don't think um it continues here Fabrizio Romano said he Pogba can't stay long at Man United in my opinion after um Reno sentences I expect him to try and sell Pogba in January which I just definitely expect him to again I don't mind Pogba if, if he leaves because I think the patience has worn filled with the club base I just don't understand the revisionism right people just pretending that he doesn't he's not a good player people are pretending like he's over it and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the the stick that Zatan Brahimovic got from a lot of English Premier League fans, right? Because he didn't necessarily play um, in front of your eyes week in, week out. They just assumed he wasn't that good. And in the moment he, you know, 
took the piss out of England playing for Sweden and of course came to United, you know, over the age of 33 um, with a really long injury record and still put up some crazy numbers. It kind of definitely reminded him, okay, fair enough. He's definitely as good as they say he is. Um, and I think the same should be said for Paul Pogba because he hasn't necessarily played to a level he may be shown. He did get the numbers. I think that he got the better numbers at United than he has on at Juve. Again, I just don't know what it is. I just don't think some players just will never get the respect they deserve, you know, at in certain clubs, at certain leagues. It is what it is. Um, it continues here. It says, from February to April, Paul Pogba was trying to change his mind about Manchester United and be happy at the club, but then something was destroyed. Pogba will not accept any offer from United to extend his contract by four years, by four to five years. And this is probably the most crucial bit. And I think this is definitely um, uh, an indication of the split in the camp when it comes to the treatment of Bruno Fernandes because Paul Pogba is very popular in the dressing room. Bruno Fernandes is probably just probably dressing room too. So they're both competing for that kind of alpha captain sort of role right in the team and if anything in the ideal world Pogba would be our captain at United right he'd be the captain of the club um he's the marquee player he's the one with the most followers all that sort of bullshit stuff right he's got the you know maybe the most accolades and trophies and if he's belt he would be the man he would be the captain of United but due to you know some extenuating circumstances and you know some tips with former managers and comments said by the agent himself he's not the captain anymore and it's quite clear that Bruno Fernandes feels like he should be the captain too because he's definitely one of our better players. You know, even maybe ahead of somebody like Harry Maguire who probably is only get, given the captain armband because he's a big English centre-back, right? And we're kind of maybe pinning our hopes that he can be our version of John Terry or something, right? But he has no business being Man United's, you know, um, captain, especially after his first season at the club. It's just insane. So I can imagine there's dumb friction in that dressing room with those three sort of egos, Right, and then you add to the, you add to the, you know, add to it. The Bruno Fernandes has been given way more freedom than Pogba's ever been given at United. Right, he's been accommodated a lot more. We essentially play two centre backs. We essentially play two defensive midfielders. Number one to protect a centre back. We spent ninety million close to on who can't defend as well as we thought he could. So we need an extra center the DM to play there, and also to protect ourselves because we've got a very attacking front five or six players playing there. So he's been accommodating in a way that Pobo was never accommodated. Pobo was basically required to defend the ball in his own box, pick it up, spray it out wide, collect it, clip the ball into the box and head it to finish, right? He's expected to do way, way too much, more so than is expected to the other players. And this is, again, prior to him playing, prior he was playing with, with far less talented players than what Bruno is playing with now at the moment. So I can only imagine what would happen if we get more players, right? We'd be a stronger team. And that's what a good team would do. A good team would hold on to their best players and just add to them, right? Convince them of their vision, whatever it may be. But I guess, you know, if we're trying to penny pinch, if we're all kind of in, if it all chips in on Bruno Fernandes, and again, I'm not really sure that's the right way to go about things because if you, well, it looks like we're overly relying on him. The moment you shut him down, you shut, us, shut down the entire team. But if that's the case, then Proba has to go. Um, I don't really see how this, it's tenable that he comes back from this, especially just before a big Champions League game against Red Bull Leipzig, where you know it, it, there is a scenario that we could get knocked out of Champions League, and then we're facing Man City later on in a week, and then we could get you know further knocked back again. Then in the league, and we've had a complete disaster of a of a, of a week just off the back of you know three league victories in a row or something. So. There are fine margins of football, and I guess, unfortunately for Paul Pogba, this is one margin he's definitely not going to be able to overcome. But, you know, what can you do? 